Honestly, I don't know why you're so upset when you still have a ton of money, dude. What, what do you mean? I mean, you are... <laughs> You are I'm the, not upset. You're the one that just swore. I'm actually quite happy and thankful I live in the greatest country ever to exist. Yeah, excuse, excuse me for swearing. I feel like this entire getup is just you afraid of losing your economic and like white male privilege. Wait, what privilege do I have as a white person? Sunburn. No, no, seriously. Just no, 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 no. You know, no, no, no. It was nice to meet you. Can you I, I, your hand? I, yeah, but can you explain to me? It was nice to meet you. What? I'd like you to think what about do, the what? way your actions affect other people, not just the white male people. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Work student learns her ideology is racist. This is by Charlie Cook. I call it Charlie Kick because of kicking us. Let's go right to today's video. Um, economic and social equality. I don't know really what that means, but maybe you could tell me. What Interesting. That means. Yeah, it means that like all people kind of get the same opportunities. Yeah, like Cuba, or, like Venezuela, or, or, not like Cuba or, Venezuela. or like North Korea. No, not like. So, or like how the Soviet Union did it, right? No, I'd like to. I'd like you to stop like interrupting me. I think that all those examples of like capitalist systems are ones that aren't. The Soviet Union was not a capitalist system. Yes, I know. And Venezuela is not a socialist system. Sure, it is. They nationalized their oil and gas reserves. They have nationalized healthcare, nationalized schooling. The government owns the means of production. How is it not a socialist country? Because the U like because of the history of U.S. interference, socialism cannot be like enacted as it should be. It also sort of functions under the guise of socialism. I think a lot of the Venezuela is still corrupt, corrupt as fuck. Yeah, but, like, but show, can you show me any socialist country that works? Yeah, most of Europe. So maybe Norway, Sweden, or Finland. Yeah. yeah. But they're more economically free than America. How so? Be on the World Economic Freedom Index, they're ranked higher than America. And so, what what does that like mean? So, lower taxes, less regulation. So they're not. I wouldn't consider them to be socialist countries. They provide healthcare for all their citizens. So does Cuba. How does that work? I'm not sure. Because they're like Norway, Sweden, Finland also has a homogenous population. Oh, ooh, I want to know about this. Yeah. Why do you think? Why is that sort of thing? Yeah. Because it's six to seven million a, people. They, they don't need a homogenized society. You don't need. You don't need it. But what? What is? I don't. Yeah, because they, have, they have low rates of immigration. Can you explain to me why? And so they like, have. They have less people coming in their country every year that need med Medicaid equivalent type social program. Can you explain to me why they have the strictest immigration policies in Europe and Norway, Sweden, Finland, and they don't pay for a national military? Seventy to eighty percent tax rates for the highest earners, of which I oppose completely. Sweden has full school choice, which I'm sure you support, right? I don't. Oh, okay, but Sweden has full school choice. Mm -hmm. I mean, Sweden's all, also ranked so higher. If on the all world. schools are funded equally, then yeah, I would support school choice. But the fact is that schools in like richer areas have better funding and so, thus give people but, better education, as opposed to poorer areas and thus poor people who can't afford to like choose that rich school, who can't commute, who can't like afford the tuition, are not going to be able to get that level of education. So, so why is it that we've spent more on education? in the last 60 years federally, but our test scores have gotten worse. Why do you think that is? Because testing is not a measure of... How about graduation rates? I mean, any metric you use, our schools have gotten worse over the last 50 so years. So funding where have they gotten worse? I'm sorry? Where have they gotten Baltimore. There are seven schools in inner city Baltimore where they can't find so one kid in eighth grade. Oh, so wait, so do you think America's more racist today than it was in the 1960s? In some levels, yeah. Really? You think America's more racist today than it was in the 1960s? I think. Still more racist than it should be, I mean, yeah, I want to say like. <laughs> I think like net racism. I mean, do you want it to be more racist? Yeah, that's what like. No, no, it's not. Actually, I think no, we're significantly less racist. So you can't blame racism well, for why these communities are not doing true. well. Really? Could no, you not significantly blame, like, less. Could you not blame, ex what for is example? Your race metric? Um, well, let me look. Okay, so in the 1960s, mm -hmm. blacks weren't allowed in the National Basketball Association. Oh. In the 1960s, the Civil Rights Act hadn't been passed until 1965. The 1960s, blacks were not allowed to go to the same schools as whites. So, like, that's True. my metric. So we passed the Civil Rights Act in 1965. Oh, how about this? We had a black president elected twice in 2008 and 2012. Oh, man, so since a black president we, was elected, we quintupled, we racism, We quintupled, no, not, we haven't finished racism. We're significantly less racist. So the talking point of the far left is that the inequities that the black community and minority communities are experiencing is because of systemic racism. In order for that argument to be true, America would have had, had the same sort of amount of racism in the last 60 years or gotten more racist. 
any sort of logical analysis of history would show we're significantly less racist today than they were in the 1960s. Yeah, so then what is any, it? Any level of racism is still racism. I think there's individual racism, but the idea that there's widespread systemic racism does not exist. Okay, what about, okay, so here's an example. Um, you guys wanna, okay, so, up until probably the mid-70s, um, like neighborhoods could choose not to sell homes to black people. That's why a lot of black people live in like certain like parts of town, you would say. And those are also generally parts of town that have like underfunded schools and stuff like that. So the Asian community went through the exact same type of discrimination, uh -huh. yet the Asian community is the richest community per race in so America. Are so saying? are you implying something about saying? the black community? No, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying the Asian community did not have a series of social welfare programs designed at them, such as federal welfare systems, broken public schools. The Asian community were one of the poorest communities in the 1940s. Now they are the richest community per race in America. How did that happen? So you're saying black people are... They were taking advantage. Black people are poor because of the Democrat Party who got them addicted to government benefits, stuck them in clustered urban areas, put them in broken schools, Is that and started the a war on police. Did all of that. Yes, show me one urban city where there's a Republican mayor. Show, no, no, show me one... Show me one urban area where there's more Republican congressmen than Democrat congressmen. Like currently? Yes, or even the last 50 years. It's Democrats that run the urban cities. Oakland, yeah, Portland, Chicago, Philadelphia. But these are the most, so you said thankful, but these are the worst parts of America. The most murderous, the most bankrupt, the most hopeless are all run by Democrats. Yeah, but there's no way you can like make some sort of causation if there's no sort of control for that. Yeah. You can't well, sure, like, say it sure would be worse without a Republican. No, there's no well, way you can well, make that sort well, of inference. It's impossible. So impossible. So you just can't make that inference. Okay, you just so don't when, have data for it. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, so the just when, stop trying to make oh, so, Okay, can I give you an example? No. No? Oh, you don't they want are, facts? They're not Do facts. facts. Bob, do facts bother you? No. Okay, so you when, are going to make up so fake facts. So Republicans run cities, municipalities, and counties have much lower levels of poverty over 30 years, better run schools, more likely to balance their budget, much more business competitive. That could be nine out, of, nine out of ten of the most business competitive states in America are all run by Republican governors. That's and Republican... Exactly. Yeah, it is, actually. I mean, that doesn't... Utah, Nevada, Arizona... That doesn't necessarily have any sort of relevance to your point. So why, why would you say that the broken inner cities in America all have Democrat mayors? And the best run states all have Republican governors? Why would you say that? I would say possibly because people see that Democratic mayors and Democratic government officials can fix the broken system. Have they fixed, have Democrats fixed anything in the last 60 years? No, because... Oh, they, no, you're right. Okay. Because we've had a Republican-controlled Congress. No, we've had a Democrat-controlled president from 2008 to 2016. The president does not have, like, ultimate power over well, no, the You're United right. States. Obama controlled the House and the Senate, passed the health care bill that destroyed one-sixth of our economy, borrowed trillions of dollars, raised taxes, grew government, and then Republicans took back the House of Representatives and eventually Honestly, I don't know why you're so upset when you still have a lot of money, dude. What, what do you mean? I mean, you are... <laughs> You are I'm not upset. You're the one that just swore. I'm actually quite happy and thankful I live in the greatest country ever to exist. Yeah, excuse, excuse me for swearing. I feel like this entire getup is just you afraid of losing your economic and like white male privilege. Wait, what privilege do I have as a white person? No, no, seriously. No, 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 no. no. Honestly, it was nice to meet you. Can you I, I, your hand? Yeah, but can you explain me? It was nice to meet you. What, what, I'd like you to think about does, the what, way your actions affect other people, not just the white male people in this country, no, no, what, what, but everybody what in this country. What does being a white person have think to do about, about anything? Yeah, yeah, can, can someone explain to me what white privilege is? Yeah, Asian privilege, because Asians in America actually are richer on average than whites in America. Um, and so are Indian Americans, by the way. That lady is a racist. <laughs> because how in the world did, did white privilege enter into this conversation? Like, how in the world did white privilege enter into this conversation right now? Damn. She's pissed and she has a lot to see. She has been hiding some certain things. When she swore, then Charlie was like, why are you swearing? I'm not angry. Why, why, why was she triggered? Then she realized that people are actually around her and she used her eyes and see everyone was looking at her and she just came at Charlie with 
also that same anger and that Charlie is afraid of his white privilege. Like, how do those white privilege enter into this conversation that they are having right now? It makes no sense. Like, no sense at all. I love how Charlie handled her. I was really shocked when she opened her mouth and talked about the white privilege aspect. Like, it was very, very surprising. For me, it was very, very surprising because there was no point of bringing white privilege into this conversation in the, pers- in the first place. Racism, it's, 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 it's a beautiful topic to talk about and something that uh, we have to raise alarm to every single time. Black people, people are always saying that black people do not see its feet and they were actually treated badly. We all know that. True. Black people were actually enslaved in the um, 17th centuries or even 16th centuries. That is obvious. We all know about that in history. But if you talked about, um, about fairness as a whole, about black people being in America and they are being discriminated and treated poorly, it's not only black people who were in America that were being treated poorly and that were discriminated. Asians too were treated poorly and they were discriminated. But Asians is one of the richest and most successful people in America. Why is that? Because of their mentality. They are not having 20 baby mamas or glorified pr- promiscuity. They're not glorifying pr- promiscuity. They are, they are focused and they are family oriented. Unlike black people. So guys, coming up below, think about this video, give us a thumbs up, share this video as many as you can. Um, the entire video was actually good. I love how Charlie handled her. Um, brought out the inner her out for us to see, which is beautiful to watch. Subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't know papers, pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, in my bed. I got scales all